when you're looking to seal off supply registers, the method I had always used was the roll of tape. It's a very wide tape and it sticks really good to a lot of things. But that can be problematic if you've got a sensitive sealing. And so something that I got my hands on um, earlier was basically a pressure pan box. It's got a string with a little plastic hook in it, on it. And when you've got a securely mounted register, it makes it easy to take it up and then pull the string to allow you to seal off the uh, boot. And it allows you to pressure test the whole fixture rather than, you know, it te pressure tests the fact that the boot is either connected to the sheetrock or sealed to the sheetrock or not. Um, if you were to plug the boot with a piece of foam rubber, like a 4x10 or 4x12 insert that would plug the boot, you wouldn't be testing the leakage um, of the boot frame to the sheetrock. So this um, is something that I'm really glad to have my hands on when it comes to um, sealing mounted duct testing. I'm going to go through and get all the other ones and we'll um, meet you back at the return. This return duct flange, where you, you the piece you would use to tie into the return, has got some spring-loaded hooks here. That you can use to secure this to the grill. Um, you would still need to tape off the rest of it, but the springs help secure it to the grill so you don't have to worry about it falling down. Gives you a nice tight fit there. And then your flex duct to tie in with the duct tester will connect to the collar here. Maybe that's a little bit of overkill to go through the trouble of making it square like that and trimming around the 
color. But hey, in the pursuit of perfection, what is over here? All right, I just thought of something that is necessary for pressure testing, and that is a tap for the pressure gauge. Um, so I think I'm gonna modify one of those um, boots, the vent covers, so that I can put a manometer hose on it. I was getting ready to modify one of the boots and I thought, hey, I'll modify the one with the blue string rather than the one with the neon green string. And the one with the blue string already has a tap in it. I don't know if you can see that. Right there. There's a manometer tub, uh, stub. So we're going to replace one of the registers with that one. And we'll get ready to test. So what's cool about whoever designed these vent covers is that they understand duct testing. And the blue hose is what you use for pressure test. So the blue hose matches the blue string and we're ready to roll. We're going to start with the medium ring assembly. As our starting point. And we'll plug in our umbilical. It's very easy because it's color coded green to green, yellow to yellow. manometer is what we're using here. Green to green, yellow to yellow. And then the blue umbilical cord goes to blue. Need to change the type of machine we're working with. Duck tester 240. We're going for mid. We're going to capture a baseline. We got a negative 2.3 Pascal baseline. We're going to set pressure at 25. And it would help if I had power on. I'd say we got a pretty decent um, test. It's not obscene. We're leaking about 129 CFM at 26 Pascals. The next thing would be to go through and seal it up. 129 CFM is not terrible by any stretch of the imagination, but um, I think we can definitely tighten it up a good little bit. 
So, we'll move on to sealing and testing again. <laughs> 